community and, um, and all of the those awesome things in between that uh, has sustained us over these last seven years, like Greg said. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's wonderful. I know that it's, it's, uh, it's been love for me that's been keeping me going. So I want to um, just share a little bit more about myself. And uh, this next song is... Uh, pretty much my life. And um, I have four kids. They all range between the age of seven and 12. So we got that out of the way. We <laughs> them out. And uh, three boys and a girl. And no, the girl is not the last one. <laughs> um, and so I, uh, I actually live on the adjacent property that I grew up on. And uh, down in South Kona, Opihale and uh, about a mile four-wheel drive off the highway. So that's why I got a big old farm truck because I need it to get home. And um, just off-grid. And you know, this past year has taught me so many things. And one of those things is um, just focusing on, on, on home, right? And, um, and I've had so much more time to, to plant food and to um, raise my children and to spend more one-on-one -on -one time with them and just all of those things. And so this song is entitled Blessings and Burdens and um, it's all about perspective, right? Even all those little challenges like living off grid, some of you guys might know, um, just takes a little bit more effort, yeah? Sometimes you know you can just put the light, you can try to put the light switch on, it might not come on though. You might have to gas up the generator, make sure the solar, you'll check the solar. Right, it could be a whole number of things that um, might not be working, but it's all about perspective and being, being grateful. Like, hey, you know what? I got a sink full of dishes. Why? Because we just ate again. So, counting our blessings. And uh, so, this one's entitled Blessings and Burdens. I gotta stand up for this one because it's, I gotta breathe. <laughs> Oh, 
you want to go. Yeah. Um. Thanks, Monty. It's my sidekick over here. Monty on the tambourine. Yes. I almost got my shakers. I almost did. Oh, yeah. It reminded me when I was growing up and he was living off the green like that in Kapo and, you know, outhouse and no electricity and boiling water for this and that. Yeah. It's hard life. It's not easy. Yep. It's not easy. Perfect memories just now. Totally. Nice. <laughs> yeah, even though um, I'm raising my children off grid, I think about when I was a kid and it was actually even harder, yeah. right? <clears throat> we, um, same thing, Uncle. We put the, uh, we'd have to go down to the water tank, fill up the big pot, haul them up, put them on the stove, heat them up, and then you would scoop shower. So my kids, it's like, you guys, you guys have water coming out of a faucet above you, right? So it's like, um, so little improvements. But I still remember as a kid, the day we got running water in our house, and my mom cried. You know, so it's just those simple things, right? So, um. Yeah, we count our blessings. No matter what our situation is, we can be thankful. So, um, yeah. Um, so this next song is entitled Live Every Day. And it's, it's just about that. It's about um, living every day. I can't change what I did yesterday. I can't change all the mistakes in my past. But you know what? I can live today. And I can make it the best day. And, um, you know, my, one of, uh, my youngest son, Isaiah, he's seven now. And he says, you know what, Mom? When I was younger, so <laughs> when I was younger, you were just gone all the time. And I'm like, I know, I know, son. I'm so sorry. I'm, I can't help what I did before, but I can change now. I can, that, I'm going to change that. And so uh, with COVID and this whole thing, you know, so I'm in, you know, I play, do the music thing pretty much full time. And uh, so all of that went away. Oh, there was no work. And so it was home base. And I, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful because that's my place, right? Uh, so it's just balance and all of these things. And you know what? These kids, they grew up so fast. It's only a season, right? And it's like, wow, it just really opened my eyes. I got to pour everything I have into these kids right now. Because when I get older and they're out of the house, I can't get this time back, right? So uh, it's been a really big learning thing for me, but that really hit me when my, I can still see my son, I'm driving my big truck, he's sitting in his car seat next to me, he's like, just out of the blue, mom, it's been so nice having you home, like you used to be gone all the time, and I'm like, you know what, boy, I know, and I can't change that, but as we move forward, I can do things differently, and so this song is about living every day, making the most of every day, right? So here we go.
another story. <laughs> um, I've been married. Oh gosh, it feels like forever. Yes. <laughs> hey! Oh, <God. laughs> it feels like forever. How long have you been married? Oh, Rick, here we go. Forever. <laughs> right, right, right. Let's wait. Hold on. Let's let's separate you guys and let's see if we get the same answer. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, you will. Right, so so I was just thinking. Um, I was just thinking recently about my uh, earlier part of my marriage, right there at the beginning when I just had my just the one baby, Eli, and um, he's 12 now. And so when he was just a baby, he wasn't even one; he was an infant. So there was a time when we we're actually in between homes, and uh, many people don't know this about me. Um, even a lot of my family uh, don't know this. But there were several months when we were in between homes. And um, we were actually camping out at uh, Spencer Beach Park up there, uh, Kauai High area. Yep. And uh, we couldn't even afford to pay the, um, we were like hiding from the uncle that would like check the permits. <laughs> so I couldn't even pay the 10 or $15, you know? It's like, dang. <laughs> so um, I had just started working at this job, Daniel T. Bowles. I don't know if you guys ever remember that place. But, um, it was a restaurant in Waimea, and I had served a uh, waitress for many years before that, you know, just here and there. And on the side note, I think everyone should be in the service industry, oh, yeah. industry for at least a year of their life, right? Absolutely. Just mandatory. Um, so I had started working this job, and, you know, throughout the training, you can't, you don't get any of the tips uh, for like two weeks. And then you can start taking your own table. So I was just a shadow for two weeks, right? Um... And on top of that, the company was having a hard time paying their employees the minimum wage already. So it's like, shit, man, I don't even have tips, right? It's like, ah. So it was my first night making tips. I think I made like a 150 bucks. It was right around there. So I was just like, hey. Um, so we went down to Spencer Beach, and it was already late at night because I had worked the night shift. And you know how crazy the wind gets out there, right? Yeah. Like super windy. Waikabloa. Ooh. Waikabloa. Yeah. For sure. So there was a windstorm going on. It's pitch. It's pitch black. We get out of the truck. And you know how you guys, you know the apron out, the waitress apron? Had all my money inside? Oh, no. Oh, oh, they all flew out. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, Every no. single dollar. Oh. And my husband just felt so bad for me. Oh. Right? And, um. Did you find anything? Oh, well, yeah, this is, the, this is the story right here. This is where it kicks in. And so there was two things I could have done. I could have been like, oh, poor me, this really sucks. I'm going to go to the tent and cry. But I said, no. I said, you know what? Lord, you know I need this money. And every single dollar flew out. I said, no, I'm going to go. I'm going to go get the flashlight. And I'm going to find every dollar. And you're going to help me find it. And... Um, no, I was talking to God. I was talking to God. I'm like, God? Because the husband was going to, wasn't going out. No, oh, no, no. He was just like, what the hell? I'm like, no, 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 I'm going to God. You just, so, going to the top over here. So, Sorry, I'm trumping you. Yeah, not to trump you, honey. Anyway, so I'm just like, man, Lord, you know I need this money. You know, and it's like, I said, you know what? You're gonna help me find every dollar. I have, I have faith. I know you know exactly. And, and really, you know, then our flesh, right, our 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 physicalness and our humanness starts kicking in. You like, you looking around. No more any moon. No more any light. The wind is blowing super hard. And it's like, man, the thing is probably in the ocean by now, right? But I'm like, no. Nope. If I'm gonna put my faith in God, I need to stay there. So I grabbed the flashlight, and, um. I did. I found everything, and it was it was spread out everywhere. Um, there would I would be walking on the lava rocks now, 
and this is the middle of the night, people are asleep. I'm walking on the lava rocks and something would tell me, turn around, look again. There would be a 20 folded under a rock. Seriously, I found all the money that way. All, and none of it was together. It was all separated, tucked, folded, put away under a rock. And you know what? It was God gives us opportunities to trust in him and for our faith to be increased. And that was a big faith increaser for me. And it could have gone the other way too if I would have just been like, the money's gone. Yeah. And so you know what happened? There was $5 that we didn't find. And it had rubbed off on my husband. My husband said, you know what? Praise God. I'm going to find him in the morning. And you know what? He did. He found the $5 folded in one hibiscus bush the next morning. And so whenever, whenever I feel like, man, God, are you even there? Do you even hear me? Do you even see me? I remember that story. And, um, and you know, we can always pray for him to increase our faith. But be ready, because he's going to test them. That's what it is. It's like, okay, try this then. You want your faith to be increased? You have to exercise it. So this next song is called Your Faith Has Made You Well. And um, it's, um, it's all about that. So it's actually out of a couple stories from the Bible uh, about a couple people that was had to have faith in order to receive healing or whatever they were looking for. So I knew there was a reason I didn't go to church today. See? Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting it right here. I'm getting it right here in the house. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your faith is me. 
actually releasing um, uh, in a couple months, and uh, so it's in the middle of production, and it's one of those that's kind of needs a lot of production, so that's why I need your help, because <laughs> I just got me in the ook. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I'm gonna teach you guys your part, and all you have to know is get infected with it, okay? Get infected with it. You're like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Is this a vaccine song? It is not a vaccine song. <laughs> so, so now, you only say it when I go, love, love, sweet love, get infected with it. Okay? Get infected, get infected with, with it. it. So, I, I say, um, so only after love, love, sweet love. Okay, so let's I'll practice. I'll okay. Yeah. Follow Kale. <laughs> let me test Kale first. Come on, let me see. <laughs> love, love, sweet love. Get infected with, with it. it. Love, love, love. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.